For this subject you're going to need access to some statistical software and I just wanted to show you the similarities and differences between Minitab and SPSS which are the two that I'm going to support. You can use something else if you already have experience with it but I won't be making tutorial videos on any other packages. Um, it'd be a good idea to let me know if you're going to use something other than one of these two. To to start off I'll just show you how I've got data open in Excel which hopefully everyone is familiar with. Usually when you collect your data you'll have your first line as being your variable names um, and then you will have one row for each observation that you make and so these go down. When you import these into a package like SPSS or Minitab you'll see that the data looks the same except that we have a dedicated header row for your variable names and the numbering actually starts from your first row of data and that's the same in both these packages. I've got Minitab open on the left and SPSS open on the right. Now in Minitab each column is also given a number C1 stands for column 1, C2 for column 2 and you'll see in column 3 here there is a T and that means text saying that rather than numbers inside this column it is um, words or text. There are a couple other formats it will do like date and time as well but it's these are the two you're most likely going to use numeric and text and there's no other windows on your data. SPSS does things a little bit differently we still have the variable names up the top and the uh, the observations running down but it also has what's called a variable view and here this is where you can put in what your variable type is such as numeric and instead of text it says string but that means the same thing that it's text or characters or letters it's not numbers. The other difference with SPSS is that you can also allocate it to being a, a scale variable which is continuous or a categorical variable which you have to choose as being nominal or ordinal. Now you usually have to choose the right measure for these and I can help you with this otherwise it may not do your analysis correctly or, or print out the graphs that you want. When you do anything in SPSS it, all of your output will pop up into a separate window called the output window. Let me find that here. So you get a separate output document and this lists everything that you do um, and you can see that there's a little outline over on the left you can see that I've done three graphs already. You can click onto these and you can cut and paste these graphs out. Minitab is similar. It has a what's called a session window. Any output that it needs to print out will come into here and any graphs will actually pop up in their own separate windows and this is quite convenient. Now graphs in both SPSS and Minitab are are very easy to modify. You can go in here and change the fonts and the colors and adjust the axes and that's no problem. You'll mostly need two menu items. In Minitab it's called Graph and Stat. So Graph is all your graphs and you can see here that it lists all the graphs separately and it gives you a little demonstration of what it's going to look like and this is quite convenient. It helps you choose the right thing. Once you choose your graph then you can um, select from further options. So if I choose a scatter plot it then says I can do a simple one, one with groups, one with a regression line etc. Cancel out of that. SPSS does things a little bit differently. It has a graphs uh, menu item and then it will take you into what's called a chart builder and the chart builder um, does all the graphs in it and you'll see that it has similar options and you drag and drop these into here and drop your variables on. Usually they are equivalent. Occasionally I find a graph that I can do in Minitab that I haven't worked out how to do in um, SPSS but all the basic ones are there. The other menu item that you'll need in both of them are the the ones for doing the actual analysis. In SPSS this is called Analyze and you can see it down here and it lists the things that we'll be doing and in Minitab it's called STAT. They do work a little bit differently and that's why I'll make separate tutorial videos for each of these but you can do the same analysis in both packages so it doesn't matter which one you choose. If you are able to come onto campus then SPSS is in already installed in all the lab computers and you can use it for free. 
there is no facility for you to download a copy on the university license. So if you want to have SPSS on your home computer, you would have to purchase your own student license to use it. Minitab is currently not supported by the university. So you would have to download this onto your own computer and you won't find it on any of the university labs. However, it is a bit cheaper than SPSS. To purchase either of these, if you don't already have a copy, um, let me bring up my web browser. Uh, Onthehub.com offers student prices for both of these packages. The full price is, is quite high for each of these, so you need to get a student license. This is the main page. Uh, you can either use the search to find the package that you're after at the top or if you scroll down, because they're quite common, you'll see a little icon for both of these. So this is the mini tab icon and this is the SPSS icon. If you follow these through, you can have a look at the prices. Um, SPSS, you just need the cheapest option, which is uh, the grad pack one. If I take you into that you'll see that the cheapest option is a six month rental um, for nearly $60. Minitab on the other hand has a six month rental um, for $34. There is also with Minitab a 30 day free trial so it will cost you nothing to download it and try it. If you use Minitab for 30 days you would then probably want to keep using it. It may be challenging to start off in Minitab and then say switch to SPSS because all the graphs and the analysis, although they output the same thing in the end, the, the way you get there can be a little bit different for both of them. So that's your options. As I said, if you want to come into campus, you can use SPSS for free on the lab computers. If you need to purchase one, then Minitab is probably the cheaper option, unless you already have access to a software package um, through some other means.